Good evening. We'll call the March 13th Cedar Springs Public School Board meeting to order. It is now 645. And if everyone one would please rise with me and join with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, a nation under God, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And Secretary Slager, if we can have a roll call, please. And we do have two uh, board members out. We have Matt is out for illness and Misty is out of state with family. Carrie forward. Okay. Trustee Bowser, excused. Trustee Patton. Here. Trustee Vanderhyde. Here. Treasurer Gilmore. Here. Secretary Slager. Here. Vice President Schaffner, excused, and President Reed here. Thank you, and we have established a quorum for tonight's meeting. That brings us to the adoption of the agenda, and I would entertain a motion for as presented. So moved. Support. Any discussion? Having none, Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderheide? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. And President Reed? Yes. The agenda is adopted as presented. And that brings us to gratitudes. Do we have anyone that would like to share? I am grateful for the band and the choir program. The band did really well at um, festival last week. Uh, my kids were very involved. Uh, my son actually got to work in the sight reading room that was run by my husband's band director from when he was in high school. So that was kind of that was kind of cool. Um, and I'm also thankful for the musical. I'm really excited for it coming up in a couple weeks. Hope everybody can come to it. It's Charlie Brown. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. So Woodstock and Schroeder are my favorite characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, the sight reading thing brings back memories to the That's <laughs> nerve-wracking. Well, they did a they did a show for us um like a week before, and they actually gave out some sight reading to the students in the in the one band, the um, wind ensemble. And I was shocked. They they just played it and it was beautiful. It sounded like they'd been practicing for weeks and they were just, they'd just gotten it five minutes before. So I was really impressed. So I wasn't surprised that they got excellent ratings, so. Yeah. Yeah. Grateful we didn't have snow the other day. Yeah. yeah, I'm grateful that we've transitioned to spring. Spring sports are out there. Mm -hmm. uh, the musical, the band, and choir concerts were outstanding. So nice to turn the club. Great. All righty. We'll move on with our consent items, and I would entertain a motion. So, so moved. with support. Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderhyde? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed? Yes. Consent items are approved as presented. And at this time, I would entertain a motion for us to move into closed session pursuant to Opens Meeting Act Section 8B for student discipline. So moved to support. Any discussion? Having none, Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderhyde? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed? Yes. We will convene to close session and return in a bit. If the minutes can show that we're returning to open session at 719, we will continue on with our meeting. We are at the discussion portion of our agenda. And first up for discussion, we have the 2023-24 calendar proposal. Scott Smith presenting. So in your pack, uh, you have an electronic version, but I also included a printed copy with a color code so you can track and follow along. <laughs> um, so as shared uh, last at our last meeting, the calendar really is the, the same as the calendar for this year. Uh, we just moved everything forward um, into the new calendar year. Any questions? All right, we'll carry on. Thank, Thank you. you. Discussion item B, the 2023 School Building and Site Series 2 Bond Sale Resolution with Scott Smith and Mati Sullivan presenting. Mr. Sullivan? All right. 
Uh, so last I mean, Wednesday, we um, did our bond pricing. Uh, we had $33.25 million available for purchase um, throughout a about 30 hour period in the morning. We had orders of a little bit over $175 million. Um, so uh, they were very attractive bonds for the, 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 the banks and investment firms that were out there looking to purchase uh, that morning. Um, great news for us. Um, it ends up driving, what happens there is we ended up decreasing our coupon rate with the interest rate that we're paying out. Um, it created a bond premium, which resulted in an additional $351,000 that we will be depositing in our uh, uh, new bank accounts that we can use towards the various bond projects. Um, and then for the tax taxpayers within the community, it, the big savings is it resulted in $8.5 million in uh, savings over the life of that debt service. Um, so a, a fantastic outcome for uh, the market as it currently sits. Um, everyone was very pleased with it, so. Yeah, even going in, uh, they were commenting on, you know, being tracking with what the Fed was doing and just the volatile nature from day to day of the market. And uh, they were very excited at nine o'clock when we took the initial call. Um, but I think at, at noon, when we got on and, and got the final results, um, there was a, a real, uh, a real spirit of uh, thank, thankful to or gratitude in the room, um, just in, in terms of the overall outcome. Um, yeah, that was a good. I, I don't know that we could have anticipated any more favorable conditions for that for that sale. So that is on for action tonight, the resolution. So, Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that work. Discussion item C, the new independent bank 2023 construction account. So this is a really kind of formality. Um, we will have created a new account at independent bank to hold a uh, portion of the bond proceeds. Um, and it's really where we will write our checks out of. Uh, Independent Bank just asked that we have it on the agenda and do a formal action to approve the opening of that new uh, Independent Bank uh, checking account. So if it's over 250000 is does that account typically run over that for FDIC insurance or? It will for, so we'll transfer funds in from the PFM. Myloff account, um, but we have uh, investments, basically a sweep account okay. where that's how uh, know. Yes, maybe. Okay. Basically. So that's how they're guarding that for us? Yes. Okay, sweep account. All right, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. That's on for action. Discussion item D the 2024 spring break grants overnight trip. And this is the second reading. This is on for action tonight as well. Mm -hmm. So really just a chance for you to ask any questions you have about that fantastic trip to France that um, we are hoping to take students on for spring break of next year. We'll see you for now. Any questions? We're good. Mm -hmm. Ali explained it well last, last meeting. And you're going? <laughs> well, no, I probably won't be. <laughs> I love anybody that goes. I know, it's wonderful. It's fantastic for our kids. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Discussion item E, the financial update with Madi presenting. I, I will keep this one pretty short. I know I did a lot of speaking back in February, um, but a couple quick updates. Obviously, you have the year-to-date budget that has been updated to reflect Budget Amendment 1 that was adopted back in February. Um, we also have the uh, bond uh, budget updated through uh, cash as of February 28th. Um, we are starting to get clo getting closer to fully expending Series 1. Uh, we still have about $3.5 million remaining. Um, some of that money is currently 
uh, tied up in some investments that are starting to mature on a monthly basis now. Um, but I would say by the end of the summer, those funds will have been fully expended and we will start to use the Series 2 funds. Um, I also noted in bold, we have we finally received notification from the state what our Section 98B funding will be. Um, it'll be $172,140. Section C? Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. 98C. Uh, we have until September 30th of mm -hmm. that year, of, of this year, to expend those funds. Um, we have already started to uh, spend them, and Jen and I will be doing a formal application as soon as the state uh, releases that application. Mm -hmm. uh, Last week, I also did open up a new Mylaw investment account. Um, that's where the, the bulk of the bond proceeds will be uh, held. Um, and I'll be working with the district's uh, investment management consultant, PFM, to put together an investment plan that uh, will be reviewing the, the cash flow projections and put together an investment plan to try to maximize uh, uh, investment earnings that then can be used towards our bond projects. Um, this is a similar process to what we did with uh, Series 1. So with all the questions about cash out there and money in banks, <laughs> we can ask them I mean, how, how those funds are budgeted. Does that make sense? Yeah. That, I if you don't know the that, answer, it's fine. Yeah. Um, all, all, of the, all of the investments have to be done in accordance with allowable Municipal investments. Okay. So, and that's the question. Yep. Um, so that, that that's all I have for the, the finance report. Unless anyone has any questions. Just a just a question. I guess uh, I'm sure. Like say we fully trust the 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 investment of the of the of the uh, funds. It makes total sense. We're mm -hmm. trying to save the the district uh, money, the taxpayers' money. Um, what what type of risk profile do we use for those investments? I think it kind of goes to what you were talking about, Heidi. But I mean, like you said, we, we will probably get some questions from our neighbors mm -hmm. and friends and parents in the district because there's so much in the news right yeah. now about the bank. So I'll have to get that. I'll, I'll get you some more details on that. Yeah. Um, so you can respond. Um, Perfect. Yeah, I haven't sat down with PFM yet to kind of play out that plan, but. Yeah, that'd be great if we get some additional information just so we have. Yeah, yeah. that flag. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's the end of our discussion portion of our meeting, and that brings us to public comments. And if this is the time that anyone would like to address the board for three minutes, we'd be willing to hear your public comments. We won't be discussing items, but we're taking in the information, and then uh, Mr. Smith will be following up at a later date. Is there anyone that would like to address the board at this time? What? What? Okay. Public comment is hereby closed. So we're moving to the action portion of our meeting. The first action item is for the 2023-24 calendar proposal, and I would entertain a motion for as presented. So moved. Support. Any discussion? Having none, Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderhyde? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed? Yes. Motion carried. Action item B, the 2023 SBS Series 2 bond sales resolution. I would entertain a motion for as presented. So moved. Support. Discussion? Having none. Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderhyde? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed, yes, motion carried. Action item C, new independent bank 2023 construction account. I would entertain a motion for as presented. So moved. Support. Any discussion? Having none. Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderhyde? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed? Yes, motion carries. Action item D, 2024 spring break France overnight trip. I would entertain a motion for as presented. So moved. Support. Discussion. 
Has he none? Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderheide? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed? Yes. The motion carried. The last action item is for disciplinary action for student 22.23.04. And I will make the motion to put it out there for discussion. I would motion that the recommendation for the student to be expelled for the remainder of the 22-23 school year is motion. <laughs> Support. Any discussion? It's heartbreaking and difficult and I hope that the student gets more help. Okay. Secretary Slager? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderheide? Yes. Trustee Patton? Yes. President Reed? Yes. Motion carries. That brings us to the communication portion of tonight's meeting. And for the Board of Ed Education, we are up to date with everything that I have. Just keeping a pulse on what's going on politically, and we're all listening, and that's what we do. I did uh, receive a letter from a parent of one of our seniors who was very excited about uh, uh, announcing or sharing with the board um, the destination or her destination for where she's going to go next. Uh, and so that's included in board book. I added it uh, just before the meeting. Um, and they are just thankful for the all, all the opportunities that uh, they have uh, as student or as a student and as a family uh, here at Cedar Springs Public Schools. And then um, I also included in your packet the need for some action on your part um, to take some steps uh, regarding two-step authentication for our email accounts. Um, so the deadline for that is um, this Friday. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me or reach out to Jonathan Smith, our tech director. Uh, if you're not comfortable using um, your cell phone device, then we can also provide you with a key uh, that you can use, uh, kind of a plug-in that goes into your computer. Uh, so if you're using, that, that's another option for you. Uh, so as to not engage your personal device in the security protocols associated with your school email account. So if, I, if we didn't do it right, we'd just be locked out, right? Correct. Okay. I think it did it right. But <laughs> <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> it was locked out. But okay. I'm all good now. So yeah, this can be it today. So. Okay. Anything else? No. All right. Then planning, we have our meetings going forward as we're on the schedule. And Having no other business before us, we will stand adjourned at 733.